So I'm just down in the woods by me, and uh, I just found a bunch of uh, little harvestmen, basically daddy longleggers, except they have shorter legs. Um, I've seen these once before, and I think this is the type that actually uh, fluoresces under a black light. So I'm going to go get these guys home and get them under a black light, see if they do. Um, they always, I always end up finding them in groups of about five. You can see one, maybe, if this, depending on how clear this is, on his back there. It's still about, it was probably 40 degrees last night, so it's, they're still waking up from the winter. But, uh, yeah, I'll get home and check these guys out under the black light. So, moment of truth, they're all in here. I'm gonna hit them with the black light, see what happens. Yep, they're glowing. You can see just the difference between regular lighting and that. They do stand out a lot more. Um, in the past, the camera's showing it up weird even. But uh, they've glowed a lot brighter than that when I remember them. They'll look bright green like a scorpion would. I'm going to shut off the room lights and look them like that. That's looking better. That looks a little bit more like what they look like in person. That pale, greenish glow they have. Alright, and now compare that to a scorpion. Not nearly as bright still, but uh, for any kind of spider, that's pretty cool. This guy actually glows more of a yellowish tint than uh, a lot of scorpions even. A lot of scorpions are even more green than this. This is a desert scorpion, so he's a little more yellowish. Scorpion under uh, regular lighting and under the blue light, black light. Much brighter. You can see it actually even reflects onto the sand from him. When he gets hit directly with it, he's glowing so bright. There they go. Now you can really see him. Especially when uh, the black light's on him. They don't look that great just like this, but uh, imagine walking through the woods with a black light and then seeing this from across, from about 20 feet away. That's how bright they glow when uh, you're walking around at night. That's how I actually found out they were in my area in the first place, was uh, just wandering around with, in the woods with a black light. So it is definitely noticeable. Compared to under regular lights, they just look like that brownish color as the dirt. But uh, with this, you can really see the the greenish tint that they have. So they've been in here about maybe two hours now. Um, you can't really see through this container. But uh, you can see the fish food they're eating. They're just eating cichlid pellets. And uh, this is just a temporary cage until they go into uh, this one here. There's already a bunch of uh, just native isopods and stuff already running around in there. Which uh, they can't actually, they'll eat their scavengers mainly. Um, there's fish food in there. And then a slice of melon. But uh, they'll also eat like ice pods, little any little bugs that they can find. So uh, that's the plan there, make a communal setup of these guys, ice pods, maybe some millipedes, we'll see. Whatever else I can find. <laughs> 